Он одним из первых создал яркий и колоритный образ бойца, который может красиво выйти на бой и устроить зрелищную битву. Молодой, в то же время очень техничный атлет. Мастер спорта сразу в четырех видах единоборств. Он еще 10 лет назад понимал, что нужно зрителю, и давал им не только бои, но и шоу. Этот боец начал выступать на турнирах М1 в 2004 году и много лет был известен под именем Султана Тихаева. Начиная с 2007 года он ушел из М1 и провел множество победных поединков в самых различных организациях, после чего вернулся на турнир М1 Global в 2011 году настоящей звездой российского ММА. И уже тогда его знали как Александра Яковлева по прозвищу Бэтбой. В 2014 году он подпишет контракт с UFC, и на сегодняшний момент на его счету уже 9 боев в октагоне. Сегодня мы расскажем вам о турнире Эмман Челлендж 25, где Александру противостоял не менее колоритный и дерзкий боец. Кристиан Экерлин был чемпионом немецкой организации GMC, победителем нескольких турниров по боксу, и не знал горечи поражения на профессиональной арене. На тот момент на его счету было 6 досрочных побед в 6 боях, и Кристиан считался главным европейским проспектом в полусреднем весе, который готов был победно ворваться на российский ринг. Кстати, уже совсем скоро Кристиан будет выступать на турнире Беллатор в Москве, в том самом, где Федор Емельяненко сразится с Тимоти Джонсоном. M1 Global presents... Кубок Великороса по ММА. В Санкт-Петербурге под сводами Тинькофф Арены пройдет грандиозный международный турнир по смешанным единоборствам Open Fighting Championship 11. В его рамках состоится матчевая встреча. Сборная России будет сражаться с командой, составленной из бойцов разных стран, за престижный трофей – Кубок Великороса. Также зрители ожидают два титульных боя. В бою за пояс чемпиона Open FC в полутяжелом весе встретятся два крутых ударника на каутера. Россиянин Илья Бочков померится силами с бойцом из Кыргызстана Ураном Сатыбалдиевым. А в главном бою вечера непобедимая Дарья Железнякова сразится против незнающей поражения бразильянки Маризы Лоч за титул первой в истории чемпионки Open FC. Всего болельщики увидят в этот вечер 14 ярких и бескомпромиссных поединков. А по ссылке в описании и закрепленном комментарии вас ждут билеты на данное событие с 10% скидкой от компании Великорос. 4 ноября, Тинькоф Арена. Опаны все 11, Кубок Великороса. Не пропустите. Let's go. Again, Yakovlev fights in South Pole. Not on the trust, not on the trust. Markle's telling him to let go of the junk. Eckerlin is tense. He's getting there. He... He's very tight. He's... I like his technique. He's a strong kid. Definitely. Both guys opting to trade some kicks. Nice takedown. Moves right into side control. Now Yakov trains the guys that actually have good background in Sambo. So let's see if he's gonna capitalize on it. Nice left. Thanks for the tweet. Left, man. right. <laughs> Kind of a sloppy kick there, allowing Eklund to get back up. Good pop-up. It's almost they don't want to be bothered with the groundwork. It's like, forget it. We know what's going to happen. Yeah, like, we don't I, like each other. I That's took bang. you down. I scored. But you know what? I don't know what to do with that. It's like he took. It's like he went for the takedown just to say, hey, I can take you down. Yeah. Now I'll stand back up. All he got to tell us what he was saying there. Uh, look at it this way. Somebody just screamed out of audience. Remember the 9th of May? 
and it was a <laughs> reference to the victory of Russia over the Germany in World War II. <laughs> and they just, just re and you know, especially now it's coming up, and uh, oh. Russians are world psyched. They really, you know, celebrating that particular day. <laughs> nice, all class. Oh. So far, I'm, I'm impressed with both fighters. Edgar will wait for that opportunity to nice drop that kick right kick. arm. Nice, good left kick to the body. Good balance. Right there, we have Dennis Siver. Dennis Seaver enjoying some considerable, considerable success in the UFC. Always nice to have good veterans in your corner, helping you to evolve as a fighter. Nice, good separation. Tell me one thing, considering that Yakovlev is the master of sport in freestyle wrestling, so far, Eckerlin stops his takedown. He's been doing very well. He's got great balance, good position. He only, had, he only went down to once. But the one takedown by Yakovlev <laughs> was pretty nice. One minute left in the first round. I'm expecting much more from Yaklev in clinch. I'm expecting him to throw some throws, yeah, to use his legs. Way to pop back up. Christian throws loopy left. He's going to pay for it here, I think. Yep. There you go. Marco doing a good job, just taking a quick spin. Christian tries to set up an arm bar. He doesn't really have a triangle choke over there, else he's just crossing his legs, but he doesn't have enough time either. Ooh, beautiful work by Yakovlev. Shrugged it off and landed two good punches. And the round. Great action-packed first round between these two welterweights. I would give it to Yakovlev. I agree. More work, two takedowns, definitely. Taking a quick sneak peek over at the one judge's scorecard. Looks like uh, you were correct. The one judge scores it over for uh, Do I see a plumber's crook? I guess not. Here we go. So we're looking here on the replay. Good takedown. That was the second takedown of the round. Put Eckerlin in, in a tough spot. Was able to sit down and rain some damage. Matchmaker Alexander Shvelikov here for M1 over in Europe. These guys still don't like each other. They're really ready to get at it. Marco pushes him back and they start. Nice kick. Marco giving him the warm, telling him to bring it up. Good knee to the body. Christian wants to fight. He's just relentless. He's going in, going in. Interesting to see if he's going to try and step out and take mount. He 
Christian doing a good job. Hiding his face. Controlling hips at the same time. Pushes him back into guard. Nailing some good bombs there. Christian, if Christian will be able to get up, that would be fantastic. He works his way up. Nice job. Back down Gets to the mat. Gets sucked in again. Ah. Both fighters spending lots of energy on trying to control the fight. That was after call punch. Yeah. I don't know. It that. was incidental. I don't think it was intentional. Looked like Eklund got clipped with the left. Ah, uh, no elbows. It's one of the things that M1 still didn't uh, allow, and I actually like it. Elbows no elbows. Yeah. You know, the jury is out on elbows. I personally don't like them. They they tend to cut, and you're winning matches on cuts. It's it's not what you know fighting is all about. Eklund's taking some big shots here. But I'm surprised Marco didn't warm there again. It looks like he came through to the, you know, mid forearm. Christian's taking some punishment. Don't give him back. That's a bad, oh. That. There you go. Hey, good. Good job by Akilo. Great job by Akilo. He saw a mistake, he capitalized. Europe's MMA bad boy playing over to the crowd. Thank him for the support. With the win, Yagler improves. That's that's impressive. You can see him back. Nice, nice rear naked. That was beautiful. It was nice. That he was worked. Good. He worked to secure it, like Eckerlund uh, tried to escape. <laughs> And you see the fight is over now. They're friendly. Nobody has any <laughs> grudges against each other. That's what all this sport is now all they're about. Go share a beer and a burger.